Crystal Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about five of the top elementary schools in neighborhoods that won't break your budget. You know, sometimes when you look at some of the top rated schools in the area, they're in some of the most expensive parts of the county um, where homes are, you know, upwards of a million dollars. Now don't get me wrong, there are some pricey homes in some of these neighborhoods. However, you can also find a home in the area for maybe even $500,000. So these are gonna be five top rated elementary schools in the area in neighborhoods that won't break the bank. One thing I wanna point out is this is not a top five list meaning that these are not the top five elementary schools in the area, um, and they may or may not be of the top five. What I looked at was a number of different criteria, including home prices, test scores, things of that nature, and these are five schools that came up consistently when doing research that performed well compared to other schools in the county. Um, and so in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the school, its location, the programs that are available at the school, the, the, the um, student to teacher ratio, as well as their math and reading proficiency rates. Um, if you want more information about each school, there will be information down below in the description bar for you to check out more information and more details about the school because this is just going to be a quick video. And there you'll also find links to um, the current homes for rent and sale in the area so you can see just what's available in those school pyramids. So we have five schools on the list. It's going to be Keene Mill Elementary, Mosby Woods, Sangster, Terra Center and also West Springfield. And each of these five schools is also located in the top high school pyramid, meaning that the high schools that these uh, schools sit in are those pyramids are also among the top high schools in the area. King Mill is gonna be our first school located in Springfield. Um, there are gonna be 772 students enrolled, or roughly 772 students. Those are the numbers from the 2018-2019 school year. And their student-teacher ratio is gonna be 20 to one. Their mission statement is going to read that the Keene Mill staff is dedicated to nurturing creativity and innovation to enable all students to achieve future success. We provide a safe learning environment, set high expectations, and focus on the excellence and achievement of each individual learner. Math proficiency at the school is going to be 97%, reading proficiency 96%. The number of students receiving free and reduced lunch are going to be 18.39% of the students. So that I want to say that's going to be the highest on our list today. As far as programs at the school, they're also going to have the Spanish, the Spanish FLES program, and they are a level four advanced academic placement learning center, and they have a couple of additional programs available for students with disabilities. They do have a PTA at this school, but I did not find any information about what type of programs are available through the PTA. Next up, we have Mosby Woods located in Fairfax. Again, a larger school with 1,061 students enrolled each school year with a student-teacher ratio of 16.1. So although this school is on the larger side, it does have a lower student-to-teacher ratio than some of the other schools we covered a little bit earlier. As far as math proficiency, they're at a 94% and reading proficiency, they're at 92%. A little bit higher free or reduced lunch rate here. It's actually going to be probably our highest in, the, in this video series. 23.19% of the students at Mosby Woods receive either free or reduced lunch. When it comes to programs available at the school, it is an academic level for Center for Advanced Placement. They have a student government program there that focuses on community service, mentoring, and tutoring with volunteers from the Oakton High School, which is at the top of the school pyramid for this uh, school, meaning if your child attends Mosby Woods, they will likely attend Oakton High School for grades 9 through 12. And then they have a number of after school programs such as foreign language, math science, and the chess club, in addition to several PTA sponsored and richer programs. You're watching this video because you're researching schools and probably buying a home in Northern Virginia. Well, home prices in this area are some of the highest in the country, and one way to save money is by using the Keller Mortgage Zero Plus Loan Program. For example, on the purchase of a $500,000 home, you can save up to $6,500. Keller Mortgage Zero Plus has zero lender fees, zero origination fees, zero underwriting fees, and zero processing fees when you work with a Keller Williams agent like me. And then there's the plus. On top of those savings, on all loan amounts over $150,000, you'll receive a $1,000 credit towards third-party closing costs and a competitive interest rate. Keller Mortgage offers conventional, FHA, VA, USDA, and jumbo loans. For more information, check out the link below in the description bar. Next up, we have Sangster Elementary School located in Springfield, Virginia. 
Student population there is going to be just under a thousand students. In the 2018-2019 school year, they had 996 students with a student-teacher ratio of 18.1. Their mission statement is pretty simple. It's engage, inspire, thrive. Their math proficiency rating is at 92% and their reading proficiency is going to be at 96%. Uh, just 3.1% of students receive free or reduced lunch. Again, another advanced academic levels for center. Again, we're going to see that Spanish foreign language elementary school program that we've heard pretty much every school so far has had. Um, and again, watching this video, you would think all the schools in the area have the foreign language program, but that really is not the case. But maybe there is a correlation between the two. There's also going to be a STEAM lab at the school. They have a special education model that provides a wide continuum of services. And then they also have a hands belt, hand bells program. I mentioned that because a lot of the schools have uh, different music programs available to them, but this is actually the only school I've come across that offers hand bells as one of the music uh, courses. Next up, we have Terra Center located in Burke, Virginia. In the 2018-2019 school year, there were 594 students enrolled with a student-teacher ratio of 15.5 to 1. The school mission statement reads, Terra Center Elementary School will build meaningful relationships within our school through collaboration and communication with the goal of supporting, including, and giving access to all students. Their math and reading proficiency rates are going to be 93% math proficiency and reading at 90%. The free and reduced lunch rate is going to be 12.12%. And as far as programs available at the school, again, and this has been a running theme with the foreign language, um, there is going to be the Spanish Foreign Language Elementary School program. And they're also going to have a couple other programs, including an outdoor classroom that's called the Discovery Garden. They offer Lego Robotics and also Project Lift, which is a summer reading program. And this is the first school on the list we've heard about that uh, reading program. They do have a PTA that actively supports school. They assist with field trips, school programs, and a lot of other fun activities. Lastly, we're gonna have West Springfield Elementary School located in Springfield, Virginia. In the 2018-2019 school year, there were 536 students enrolled with a student-teacher ratio of 17 to one. The school's mission statement reads, we support the whole child by inspiring all students to achieve high academic and social standards while becoming responsible and innovative citizens in the community. Their math proficiency is actually gonna be the lowest on the list with 89%, but their reading proficiency is 92%. The number of students receiving free and reduced lunch is gonna be 9.51%. They do offer the foreign language elementary school program, just as a number of other schools did. They also have a STEAM lab, which is the science, technology, engineering, art and mathematics program. They have MetroWorks and a number of peer mediators as well. They do have a PTA at the school that sponsors a number of different enrichment programs, including things like International Night and a few field trips as well. I hope you found today's video helpful. If you want more information about any of these schools, take a look down below at the link in the description bar. There you're gonna find more information about everything I covered in this video. I'm gonna go into much more detail on the webpage, but then you're also gonna find links to the homes that are currently for rent and sale near each of these schools. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.